It is moral to invest in immoral companies. What is going on guys? It is your host BK from Let's Become Billionaires and on this channel we talk a lot about stocks. One of the stocks being that I'm really fond of is Altria, a cigarette maker. A big cigarette maker in the United States that profits off of people buying their cigarettes. And I had a comment on one of my videos saying, BK, can you please talk less about these unethical companies and talk about companies like Tesla stock a little bit more often? Now I talk about both kinds of stocks because I on this channel like to talk about stocks that are undervalued for you guys to buy. So I'll put my response up to what I said to him uh, right up for you guys to see right now. And in essence, I, I respectfully said, no, I'm going to keep making videos on these kinds of unethical stocks, but I'm also going to make uh, videos on more ethical stocks as well, because my goal on this channel is to offer value and not to be moral. Now, that being said, I'm going to talk about why I actually do believe that it is moral to buy immoral companies because there is a little bit of a like, you know, a brain twist there where you're kind of thinking that doesn't make any sense. How can you invest in something immoral and consider yourself moral? And well, that's what the point of this video is. Now, the first part is going to be a technical analysis of what is going on when you buy and trade stocks with other people and more specifically sin stocks, right? And then the next part is going to be what are my personal opinions on having somebody buy a sinful product for themselves to use. And so we'll get into that later in this video and then we're going to end off with a little conclusion on what I believe ties this all together and why I have the opinion that I have. Now let's start off with the technical analysis. Now technically speaking, when you buy a stock, what is happening is you're paying somebody to have their piece of the business for yourself. And the reason I think this is important to realize is because when you own a piece of a business, there are two ways you can own a business. One way is to own a business and be an executive in the business and actually dictate how the business operates. The other method by which you can do so is to buy a stock because you believe the executives and the people who have say over the business are going to make a profit for the business. Now, why is this important? Outcher is going to make profits whether or not I invest in it. I can do nothing, okay, to stop Altria from executing its business model. Now, I can create groups where I help people get off cigarettes, and we're gonna talk about that later on, so don't forget about that, but I can do that, but Altria is still going to execute in a certain way. Now, I have two choices. I can either say I'm not gonna invest in it, or I can say I'm going to invest in it and profit off of what they do because they're going to do it anyway. It's kind of like saying, okay, I'm flipping a coin, by the way, you know for a fact it's going to land on heads because you did analysis on the coin and you know that the coin is more likely to fall on heads, so you place a $1 million bet. Well, somebody can't just come in and say, well, dude, you're betting, you're, you're changing the effect of the coin. You're affecting the coin and you're, you're profiting off of the coin landing a certain way. It's like, yeah, I'm profiting off of the coin landing on heads, let's say, but that doesn't matter because the, the coin would have landed on heads anyway. I'm not changing the outcome. I'm just profiting off of the outcome. That is important to realize. But what I think is more important to address here, guys, is that once again, we can invest in the business model because the business model is going to be executed whether or not we invest while at the same time not caring for or liking or respecting the actual business. I can buy Altria stock and have a support group for people who are trying to get rid of their nicotine addictions at the same time. And I can support both causes. So I can help people who are actually affected by Altria while still profiting off of Altria. And you might say, well, isn't that counterproductive? Again, I would say the same thing. I don't like Altria's products. I like Altria's business model. And that's why I'm investing in Altria and still helping people who have a problem with Altria. Now, in terms of oil companies, I really want to address this really quickly. Oil companies are pretty immoral as well. But I think the oil company argument is a little bit different. People say I'm not going to invest in oil companies because they're immoral. They're emitting, they're polluting, they're bad for the environment, they're immoral, whatever, this, that, and the other. True. But again, let's talk about this. I think this is a key distinction I have here. And that's that, what is worse? Investing in Altria stock, okay, knowing that your investment isn't going to make a difference in the outcome of what happens of Altria stock anyway, or filling your car up with gasoline. And you might have a Tesla now, I don't care about now. Have you ever filled a car up with gasoline? You're emitting pollutants into the environment. To come at me, or anybody, and I'm not saying that the commenter did this to me, the commenter was very respectful, but I'm just saying in general, to come to anybody and say, listen, I don't invest in, don't, don't talk about sin stocks. 
but at the same time, you go and fill your car up with gasoline, which one is worse? Investing in the oil company means you profit off of people filling up their cars of oil, but filling your car up with oil is what is profiting the executives and the business in the first place. If you didn't do that, my investment doesn't matter. And personally, I like to bike, I like to walk, I like to work at home, I like to turn off the lights. But I do use energy. That's why I don't shame other people for using energy as well. And so we have to have this respectful dialogue where we say, listen, I don't like oil companies, but investing in them isn't sinful or immoral because most people fill up their cars with gasoline. And that is an oil product, right? And also, this is not going to have to do with anything in terms of sin stocks. Actually, I guess you could technically consider this a sin stock too. How about makeup companies like Elf? These stocks sell makeup. Now, girls, uh, more women than men favor animal rights, right? We don't want animal cruelty. And I agree. There is nothing wrong with saying you don't want animal cruelty because I agree. I think we should pay up a little bit for food for animals that are a little bit better treated. But, 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 huge but. Makeup. Girls wear makeup, right? The same group that is more likely to support animal rights, right? What is makeup tested on? Animals. Animals have died. Animals have been infected. Animals have been allergic and, and have had allergy attacks from makeup companies putting makeup onto animals' faces, putting makeup onto animals. And the same people go, well, we cannot hurt animals. Well, we need to have a free, uh, a free cage. You know, they have to, uh, chickens better be able to walk before we eat them. We can't uh, put an, uh, antibiotics into these chickens. It's like, okay, listen, I agree with you. But can you also agree that it's immoral that you put hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of dollars into makeup products every year that were that were tested on animals and that caused animals to die? Can we please find common ground there? And if we find common ground there, can we also admit that people, it's not about people not liking sin stocks and thinking that sin stocks are immoral. It's that they think anything they don't use is immoral. Don't use is immoral. Anything they don't use is immoral. I'm a guy, I don't use makeup, so it's easy for me to go up to a woman and say, stop wearing makeup. It's easy for somebody who has a Tesla to say, I don't support oil companies. Even though they used to fill their car up with gas before and they never had a problem, they had a problem with it, but they still did it, right? How about everybody who lives in a house that is way too big for them, right? All these billionaires who care for the environment, yet they live in mansions that probably cost so much money to keep cool or keep warm, that cost so much money to maintain, right? And it's like, dude, stop being a hypocrite. If you're going to be a hypocrite, you have no right to tell me I don't have a right to buy that same company that you use, even if they're sinful. So guys, with that being said, I hope you guys respect my argument. I respect your argument back. Leave your arguments in the comments section. Share this with other investors because this needs to be talked about much more than it already is. And guys, please hit the sma uh, please smash the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and, this, uh, and the notification bell right next to it. And guys, be ready for some more videos on ethical and unethical companies as well. I hope you guys are staying safe out there during this current pandemic. And this has been BK of Let's Become Billionaires. Bye-bye, folks. Have a great day.